good day everyone. And welcome to... Day 8 of Bailey's Do Disney. This is the candy we got last night from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Look at that! Oh, How amazing. Incredible. This is day 8 of Bailey's Do Disney, Orlando oh, Vogue Series. So much candy. <laughs> what have we got planned today guys? Hollywood <laughs> Studios. Hollywood Studios and then um, this evening we're going for a meal with our um, with our lovely friends uh, to Cheesecake Factory yeah. so we can't wait <laughs> so this is mad isn't it this is like this was this was only out of the seven hours we were there last night I reckon we spent less than an hour less than an hour trick or treating the rest was done we did everything um, if you haven't watched yesterday's vlog please go back and do so we did the parade, Boo to You parade, which was incredible. Oh, so good. So good. I think the uh, the grave diggers are my favourite. Yeah, the headless horseman was awesome. What else did we do? We did the hocus pocus show, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, that was amazing yeah. too. Uh, we did character. Well, we met the seven dwarfs. <gasps> yes. We met Stitch dressed as Elvis. We we just had a bit of a late start because we didn't get back until two in the morning last night. It was late. There's it was a late loads one. Loads of different candies. Loads there. of different candies. What have we got? So this is what you're getting. We got gummies. Skittles, Skittles gummies. These are incredible. And we got these. I love these, these are the best M and M's in the world, in my opinion. Caramel Bye. cold brew. Yours as well. Look at what these else? also. Yeah, you got the peanut butter ones. Yeah. You got the fudge brownie ones. We got also different got types these. of Skittles. We got these. Uh, Milky Ways. Honestly, the the food selection is awesome. So. We also got Starburst. Yeah, Starburst. Yeah, we got all, loads of good sweets. We've now arrived at Hollywood Studios. It's it, literally where we're staying at Staybridge Suites. We've never stayed here before, but it's about a 12 minute drive to the parks. It's really close, really, really close. There it is. So today, I'm wearing my Avengers uh, vest that I got last year. I love this vest, one of my favourites. And it normally just gets packed straight in a suitcase when we get home and I wear it on the next trips. But I really do like it. What one are you getting count? Zoomies. They're awesome, aren't they? Yeah. What are they? They're like Robo. Yeah, which one's your favourite? Stitch. Stitch is cool. Mickey's cool as well. Which one do you like the most, Paige? Oh, that's hard. They all look cool, don't they? Donald looks cool. Me, they all look cool. They all look amazing. They do. Oswald pin. Oswald pin. How cool is that? I don't know if you can see that. It's a bit bright here. That is a cool pin page. We'll put it in our um, it collection. It says on the bottom, 100 year anniversary um, edition. So yeah, the lucky rabbit. How cool is that? Just waiting to get a, uh, a picture at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween. No, I didn't even know I said that. Just waiting to get a picture at uh, Mini and Mickey's Runaway Railway. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today. This park, Hollywood Studios, is so great. You've got Toy Story Land, you've got um, um, Galaxy's Edge, you've got Tower of Terror, you've got Rock and Roller Coaster. It, it's so much to do here. And it's funny because we were here in 2016, it was genuinely a half a day park. Now, I'd say it's probably a two day park minimum. Um, there's so much to do. Uh, it's one of my favorites now. But I keep saying every time I go to a park, I don't know what my favorite park is, so it's really hard to decide. Join up, friends. You too, buddy, get on up there. Are you too good to be in the picture? Kind of work this. Oh! You can do better than that. Give him a proper one. Do it again, do it again. Ah, look, he's blushing. He's blushing. Look how red he's got. He's good, you look good. quite hot it's unusually hot actually um, for uh, October so what we do we get we get these neck fans which are fantastic you can get them off AliExpress for about four quid and they just go on your neck and they blow up they're incredible and you just walk around they're really nice equally you can get off Amazon but they are cheap on AliExpress or you can get these cooling towels which you uh, obviously better if you use cold water from with ice in it but you can just use um, standard water on the on the fountains 
get them wet, bring them out, and then literally you put them on your neck. And honestly, they, they're a game changer. Oh, they are a game changer. They cool you down as well. So you just literally walk around, um, protect your neck, and it keeps you really cool. So you can just pop, keep the L, just pop it in there. Um, just, yeah, so nice. Callum, if you look at the sign right there, it says the Hollywood Tower of Terror, and then underneath it flashes through. Go on, yeah. So, which category? Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror? Yeah, a bit of a hard one here. Do you remember how tall is the Tower of Terror, the building? 199 feet. Is it really? Yes. Yeah, because it's 200 feet the limit for. Yeah, for yeah. Portal Law. Yeah, yeah. Does that mean I'll get another guess? Yes. Pick a number count. Uh, you did this for you have today, sir? Sorry? Do you have annual pass or vacation no, club membership? No. 7450. This is a bigger Stitch. Ah, yes. This is fate. How, how cool is that? We've got a stitch. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thanks for knowing your knowledge. <laughs> Thank you. We were leaving um, Tower of Terror then. I've, I've got it on video. I don't know if you could see it very well. But uh, we went to, they're called Mis Mystery Pin Trading, is it? Yeah. Or something? Basically, there's a box of pins, 1 to 24. You don't know what you're going to pick. You get to pick two numbers uh, randomly. Um, and then. Sometimes they let you do a trivia question. Yeah, sometimes they'll ask you a trivia question. She said, Do you want to do trivia? I was like, Yeah, go on. She said, What category? Tower of Terror category. And then she was like, It's a hard one. What is the height of the Tower of Terror? And I was like, I know this. It's 199 feet. I watched a um, engineering construction of uh, attractions in Disney uh, on YouTube a while back. It's really interesting. That's my sort of, that's what, yeah, I'm a geek. Um, and I was like, it's 199 feet because anything over 200 feet at Florida law, you have to start putting beacons on things. And she was like, looked shocked. She was like, yeah. Anyway, that's not the cool part of the story. The cool part of the story is, Callan then picked the number and got a stitch pin. Yeah. It's like you couldn't make it up. It was awesome. It's, it's so, so far. I know it's only just that. But that was the highlight of today. I love things like that. Paige has just spotted Chip and Dale. Our way to grab some lunch now. Callum's hungry, so we're gonna go to Toy Story Land. Chip and Dale. And they kissed these two. They kissed the teddies, didn't they? Proper fan girl, mate. Last time we were here, if you haven't watched our previous vlog series from May last year, oh my days. There's, you know what? I'll tell you the story. I was sick. I, um, it started off. I went on Toy Story Mania. That was it. Such a. a, a Silly ride, really, when you think about getting motion sick. Toy Story Mania, I came off it and I just felt a bit, yeah, not great, not 100%. Yeah, a bit, a bit queasy. And then instead of going, oh, I don't feel great, I probably should just chill out for a bit, I then decided what, what I should do is drink a whole thing of blue and green milk. That didn't help. Then, straight after drinking blue and green milk, so Michael down the yeah, nobody liked him, so I just necked him, even though I was feeling sick at the time. And then uh, that didn't help. And then straight after downing the blue and green milk, I went on Smuggler's Run. That was it. I was written off. I was I was done, totaled. Um, I said, Sarah, I don't feel good here. Then we went from there on to um, Rise of Resistance, uh, and that was Sarah. Then said, Oh, we, oh we're going on um, Stinky Dog Dash. That nah. and I had to have a nap. I had to have a nap, and I was yeah, I was done for. But this time we're going to hopefully go back to the same place that I didn't manage to eat because I was so sick um, and hopefully eat. Oh, here's Buzz. My strength. We've got a whole bunch of new toys to play with. Welcome. This might be my favorite um, land here in, um, in Hollywood Studios. Obviously, you've got this in Ga uh, Galaxy's Edge. Comment down below what you prefer, Toy Story Land or Galaxy's Edge. What do you prefer, this or Galaxy's Edge? Toy Story. Yeah, I do. Sarah. This or Galaxy's Edge? I don't like Star Wars, but I'm a massive fan of how they've done the land. Yeah. 
I think I love this land, but there's no shade. So Ooh, it's quite, right. it's very, very hot. Like it's lovely, it's amazing, but it's hot. It's very hot. So we're just queuing up here. Um, is it Woody's Lunchbox? Yes. I think that's what it's called. Uh, theme is fantastic. However, it is packed. You really are going to struggle to get a table here. Uh, people are just standing around, just waiting for tables. We haven't got one yet. Food has arrived and we've got a seat as well. It worked, the plan worked. Sarah literally got a table as soon as I came out of the food. So it worked out well. Paige did. Um, so we went for the brisket melt with tater tots. And then we got the pumpkin tart, which looks amazing. A Sprite, and then the ta tachos, I believe they're called. And all that was, I think, 30... 35 dollars so. It's on the food, Callum. Good. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Highly recommend the food quality. The brisket um, melt we just had is really nice. And those tachos are, are really good, too. What's your thoughts, Paige, you got? That's good. Amazing. Just broken off a bit of the um, pumpkin spiced, pumpkin spice? No, the pumpkin um, tart. Smells amazing, looks amazing. Let's see how it tastes. That's really good. Really soft. It's better than any, um, better than any sort of pop tart you're gonna get anyway. It's really good. Um, yeah, it's really good. Uh, I didn't, like I said, last time I came here, I was really ill, so I never got to try the uh, banana one. Is it banana and peanut butter? I dropped, on the floor anyway. I dropped on the floor. I was like, I'll take it home with me, and I dropped on the floor. Anyway, that was good though. If you, I'd recommend. I don't know how long it's going to be here because obviously it's probably just a Halloween uh, snack. Really good though. I have to agree with what Sarah just said before, and I've never really thought about it before. There's no shade whatsoever in Toy Story Land, which, considering it's like a massively focused land for kids, you would think they'd put more more shade, but there isn't. What is shaded is Woody's, um, what's it called we were just eating at? Is it his lunchbox? L Woody's lunchbox, yeah. yeah. So obviously what they do is, they want people to go get shade. Yeah, so, so it entices people, people to go and yeah. get food. Yeah, it's so clever. very smart, Disney, very smart. Very smart. And we just did it, but the food's actually really nice I was about well. to say, that for quick service, genuinely, one of the nicest quick service um, meals I've had, if that came out, um, a sit-down table service um, restaurant, I'd be happy. That's how good that was. And say it was 35 bucks or whatever, it's quite quite cheap as well. Bucks. 35 bucks. But yeah, I thought it was quite cheap, really tasty. And yeah, well, there's no tip in either, so you're saving about $20 there alone. But yeah, really good, and we've just walked into... Galaxy's Edge. This place has loads of shade, and you can find loads of shade around here. That's the difference between that land and this land. There's literally, because of the there's loads of structures here, there's shade everywhere. It's brilliant. I don't want to start getting excited about toilets or restrooms, but the theming on the restrooms are fantastic. I've been going on quite a bit. I'm, I'm conscious of that. I've been going on about the uh, the heat and and the neck towels and the fans and the shade. But genuinely, if you're looking for some fantastic shade and seating area, right behind me, which Karen's just pointed out. What's that? What's that called, Karen? That spaceship? Is it that? Is that the Millennium Falcon? So you got the Millennium Falcon there, and then just in here, you honestly, this place, you got seating on the walls there and here. And last year, in May, it was really hot. We spent about, 
I know, half hour just sitting in here, just chilling out. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Someone's got an apology to make. <laughs> last year when we came, I accidentally called that last spaceship the Millennium Falcon. Callum went, oh, you, you noob and all this. Started dissing me and said, yeah, this what? is the Millennium Falcon. This year, Callum's accidentally called that one back there the Millennium Falcon. Got around the corner and went, oh, no, this is the Millennium Falcon. So this, guys, is the Millennium Falcon, not that one. Star Wars Sprogs. Um, question. What is that, sp uh, that spaceship we just went past then, if that's not the Millennium Falcon? Do you know? No. no? If you know, comment down below. If not, I'll never find out and I'll never know. Probably won't lose any sleep over it, but yeah, this is pretty awesome, this one. This is a lot bigger. But something else, drinks. Not only water, but Gatorade or Powerade, anything like that. Um, fantastic to just uh, keep rehydrated. Um, electrolytes puts the salts back in that you sweated out genuinely these this and cold brew are the two things that keep me going because what we do as well a little bit of a tip is the night before we'll freeze these so when we get them out in the morning they're frozen we'll put them in the bag in a bag in a, like in our bag inside of a plastic bag and then about two or three in the afternoon they they like this one now they they defrost but they're still really cold and then yeah that's when you need them as well when the, when the heat's getting you start sweating and they just honestly they're, they're a game changer thank you Amanda. well I think you're clever enough to calibrate a turbo laser, don't you? My friend Kelly, she's a mechanic on Tatooine. I think you'll like her shop and her drawing. It's now time for one of our favourites, Rise of Resistance. Rise of Resistance is, without a doubt, I don't think there's any questions asked, the most immersive, incredible attraction in Dis in any in fact it definitely in Disney World. Anyway, it goes on for about 20 minutes from start to finish. It's like a show. Um, it's incredible. It's really good. Definitely worth doing. I, I'd argue it's between this and Flight of Passage. Oh, between this and Flight of Passage for being immersive. But now you've got Tron and Guardians of the Galaxy. I'll be that. Get us clear so we can make the jump. Hey. What are you doing, little one? Hey, Come stand on. there. You got to stand behind, Callum. Where are you going? Is this just a free for all? Yeah. Do you not understand your prisoners? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's go. Yikes. Rise of Resistance is such a great attraction. Genuinely, such a great attraction. And every time I ride it, or we ride it, we seem to enjoy it more. What did you think of Rise of Resistance, Callum? Good. It's amazing. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like Sarah just said, we always notice new things because you've. This is the third time we've ridden it. Once in California, twice. Um, oh, fourth time. We've ridden it three. That was the fourth time now. Um, and I enjoy it more and more each time, even though I know what's going to happen. I even know what it, it, what the outcome is. It's still. Got you. These Mickey sandwiches are incredible, aren't they? They, I, I, I used to love them. You can't find them in the UK anymore. And then Callum went for a big massive pot of like frozen lemonade. Ice cream. Soft serve. It's incredible. Both of those, $12, which I think is quite cheap, really. Well, you know you're used to Disney price when you think that's cheap, but yeah. That's us now in um, Beauty and the Beast show. Are we excited I'm for this so one? Excited. It's one of our favourites. Um, bit of a top tip for this one. Stay till the end when everyone leaves. Oh, this stuff here. I don't know if you can see it. That is the most refreshing. It was only six dollars as well for like frozen ice, frozen lemonade, um, soft serve. It is incredible. It's not soft serve. So soft frozen lemonade, strawberry. It's incredible. That's a big tip for this one. Is when everyone leaves, just wait, just wait. Obviously, wait for everyone to leave, and then wait for everyone to go because it's like a massive gaggle, and then um, then leave. Unless you don't mind the hustle bustle life, then just leave whatever. <laughs> fantastic we're just leaving now like I said we left it maybe five minutes and it's honestly so quiet so 
Come on, Pagey Pops, let's go. We're going to go now. I think we're going to try and get on one last ride. Rock and roller coaster. Rock and roller coaster. Canon's two favourites in this park are the Tower of Terror and Rock and roller coaster. Yeah. So, so just come off Rock and roller coaster. What do you think, Callum? Amazing. Amazing. That is genuinely, it's got to be. It's got to be the best roller coaster, definitely in Hollywood Studios, but it's up there. I was just yeah. saying, so Hollywood Studios have got rock and roller coaster, um, and Tower Tower, obviously. Magic Kingdom have now got Tron. Epcot have got Guardians of the Galaxy. Animal Kingdom have got uh, Expedition Everest. Honestly, all of them have got something great, but that has to be one of the best rides in Disney World, personally. Yeah. It's so good. The start of that ride is incredible. But anyway, we're gonna shoot off now. We're gonna um, go meet Sarah and Paige, and then we're gonna head back to the hotel, get ready to go out tonight. We're just leaving the park now. We've honestly had such a lovely day. It's been incredible. It's been so good. Considering we only got here about 11, half 11, and we're leaving now. I don't even know what the time is. But, oh, it's 10 past five in the evening, um, as opposed to being in the morning. That doesn't, yeah. I'll just shut We've up. noticed as well, when we came in May, the aircon in the shop wasn't that great, in any of the shops wasn't that great, it was it was a bit, yeah, it was still warm in shops. And the, the smells, you know the smells around Main Street, around the shops, etc., on the rides, they just weren't that strong. Um, however, this time around, the aircon is freezing cold, so I'm guessing Disney have got their profits back up, and the smells are, the they're better, like, aren't they? Whoo? They're, they're up like, there. All the way down here, it's all the way up to here. Yeah. They are so much better. So that's um, definitely something we noticed. There was smells in Caribbean, and there were so many good smells in Caribbean. Yeah. Different smells. Pirates Different of the Caribbean smells. is the first one we noticed. We're like, wow. Because when we went in May, I was really looking forward to it. And I was like, oh, everyone was watered down, or every scent was just doled down last year. This year, we're back in. Aircon's good, scents are good. We've had a fantastic day. Let's get back to the hotel. You had a good day? Yeah. Stop. We are just on our way to public so we're doing a public shop before we go and meet our friends at Cheesecake Factory it's just over the road so you excited yeah we're excited we've got a few bits to get let's go this way we've got a few bits to get from Publix but nothing like major just a few bits and do you know what it's quite nice to mix it up between a Walmart and a public here same as Walmart and I've said this is a bit of a tip as well if you come to the States and you couldn't find any clothes like I mean, obviously Primark's a big one um, to get Disney uh, clothing before you come out. But if you do come out to the States without many clothes at all, honestly, you have a trip to Publix and Walmart and you pick up so much stuff. Let me just show you a bit. Like, and it goes on and on and on, all the way down there. Caps at the top, sunglasses, towels, bags. It's literally so good. We didn't realise that the first time we came and we, yeah, we, we always buy and, and it's cheap as well. I'll show you now actually, but the, the price of some of these t-shirts here, I'll just go for a random one here, this one. Uh, $15, so we talk about 12 quid, which is, well, for an actual t-shirt, for a t-shirt and it's cheap. They do pins as well, I don't know how much the pins are, be interesting. $5 for pins. The cheapest pin you're going to get in Disney World is going to start off about 12, I think it's $11.99 or $12.99. So, as another tip, come here, get a few pins, even if you're buying a few, um, just a, a handful just to do some trading. Better than that, get some off our eBay, go off eBay and buy a multi pack of, say, 50 pins for less than, I think it's less than 20 quid, and then bring them out and do some trading. We love that. Favorite things ever? These would be actually nice. Yeah, you're not getting any more tackies. No, you're never getting tackies wait. again. But they're cheesy. Yeah. And they're not spicy. When we came last May, Callum went, oh, I want to get some tackies blue. These ones. Oh, I love them. I love them. Anyway, bought about three packs and, and ate one crisp and was like, yeah, I don't like them. Anyway, look at these. Oh. Candied popcorn. Sour patch popcorn. Disgusting. Not not about that. What do you reckon? Would you eat that? Yes. No. I'd try it. No. I'd try it, but I don't think I'd like it. Mm. Not sure I'd like that at all. Can you go and put that, please? Unless you want it. But... These are my favourite, where are they? The ruffles, but the they've got LeBron on it. Ah, here they are, these ones, these ones right here. These are the best crisps. 
these, I can't even explain what they taste like. They've got, we've got some at home. I think they're called um, uh, Max, I think it is, and they're cheese and jalapeno. These taste like, in my opinion, they're better. Sarah prefers the Max ones, but I prefer these. M and M's mini, Snickers, Fruit Pebbles. We've shown you those ones. There are some good popcorn Twix. Where's the caramel and cheese? <gasps> caramel and cheese. I'm not. So we've got the famous cheesecake factory. Minutes. It is genuine. Sure it's nice as red. This is the Maito. How amazing does that look? How much was it? Do you know? Do you not look at the price? No. The reason fourteen dollars. That's the given rate for a, a cocktail. That looks amazing. Hopefully, it tastes just as good. The menu here, Cheesecake Factory, is absolutely huge. There's so much to choose from. Um, all the food's good. I'm just going to show you, I have a flick through the menu now. Um, I won't show you everything on it because there's too much on it. Um, the kids menu is also fantastic. Paige is going to go for the meatballs. I think me and Sarah are going to share something. And I'm not sure what Karen's going to do. but. We've not had a bad meal from here yet, so it's definitely, uh, and this isn't even the cheesecakes. I'll, I'll show you the cheesecakes shortly. The cheesecakes all amazing, you get so much from them as well. Page of Pops, you've got the spaghetti. Spaghetti, what are you doing that face for? And then Callum. Oh, that mac and cheese looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I got the bang bang chicken. And Sarah got the buffalo blast. We've got the fish tacos here, they look absolutely incredible. They look amazing. Back from Cheesecake Factory, that was honestly amazing. such an incredible meal um, with some lovely friends. Uh, we didn't actually vlog most of it because... We were having too much fun. Yeah, quite literally we were having too much fun. It was honestly incredible. Such good um, food as well. Yeah, great food, great company. We, it's the first time we met Rachel, Lee, Blake and Zach and honestly it's such a lovely family and we met them on Instagram um, basically long story short we organized to meet up and it was just incredible the yeah just the conversation before you knew it the whole, we looked around and the place <laughs> was empty oh we're like what's the time it's nearly 11 <laughs> o'clock at night um, so we didn't vlog too much we, we got a little bit of footage which we would have seen but sometimes when you're having so much fun and, and the conversation is just flowing as it is you just don't want to pick up the, the the vlogging camera. Thank you to Rachel, Lee, and your family for, um, yeah, for the for, Coleman's. Yeah, the, the Coleman's. That's probably the way. <laughs> uh, for yeah, for basically joining us and having a, an amazing oh. night. What has everyone's highlight of the day been? Starting with Callum. Rock and roller coaster. Rock and roller coaster. That was so good, wasn't it? Yeah. Mummy, what about you? Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory was incredible. Yeah. Pagey pops. This is a hard one. Very hard. Is it? Well, I would say so because she met two lovely little <gasps> friends who gave her a little leaf. Actually, I think Chippendale. Meeting Chippendale. Where Chippendale. is that leaf? It's in the it's in the autograph, but we've kept it safe. So Paige met Chippendale. They gave her a leaf to keep hold of. Um, it was Chip that gave the leaf, I think. It might be Dale. I don't really? remember. Which one was it? It was both of them. They both gave it. They both loved her. They both love you so much. And my highlight, one hundred percent. Ah, pins and needles. <laughs> my light. And they also um to my they also, Chip also pulled Dale's hand to show Yeah, me. to get, take him over to see you. That was amazing. It was really cute. Yeah, it was really cute. That was really cute. Um, Your highlight of the day? My highlight of the day was definitely that meal. Just meeting up with friends and just yeah, because we speak every day pretty much, don't we? Or every, every sort of to stories. It yeah, honestly, it I speak to Lee yeah. and Rachel pretty much daily on Instagram. So to finally meet them and just get in on human. as easy, in human form. Imagine if they had a turf, they'd have catfished us <laughs> and they were completely different. No! <laughs> so what is tomorrow? Day nine tomorrow, isn't it? Oh, this holiday's going too quickly. Day nine and we're off to... Oh, how's it day nine already? We're off to... Celebration and then to Animal Kingdom. Animal again. Kingdom, Gorgeous. one of our favourites. We're looking slay. We're looking slay. <laughs> Are we? Yeah, so... Are we looking slay now? Because I look tired right yeah, now. Yeah, I feel tired. Oh, good. <laughs> But yeah, so tomorrow, day nine, is, like Sarah said, celebrations, meet up some more friends, which we can't wait for, and then off to Animal Kingdom. So, yeah, 
If you like what, if you love, blah, 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 blah. If, if let me like get my face. Nobody likes no. us because you can't talk correctly. No, okay, Paige, Paige, say it, please. Do it like me. and subscribe and hit the like button and do all the good stuff. Yeah, thanks Hi -ya. for watching, guys. Hiya! Bye. 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 Sword. Hiya, hiya.